Morning everyone and welcome to uh, Premier League 360. A uh, bit of an extra show this week. Um, last week, you may remember, I uh, spoke about one of our Premier League players, uh, Stuart Manser, about having an eagle on the uh, 6th West, which I incorrectly uh, stated as being the 6th West, when in fact it was the 7th West. So um, I'm here, I made a terrible mistake in not uh, back checking my source, a bit like uh, another celebrity during the week, Brad Scott, a bit of a mentor of mine, and uh, obviously I fired off a little bit early, uh, assuming that the story was correct and uh, I unfairly uh, brought Stuart's integrity into question. Uh, I assumed that everything was right and in doing so I put Stuart in the category of a long hitting A grade golfer who eats par fives for breakfast. Uh, in the process of saying what I did I gave the Premier League competition a false dawn that Stuart was a ball striker of the highest calibre. Uh, the incident which took place, uh, which I've now sourced from his playing partners, was he was out on the 7th West uh, in the right hand rough and needed to hook a five iron around the big gum tree. He dragged the five iron straight into the tree 50 metres in front of him. And, and while going about how bad the shot was, throwing helicopter in clubs, swearing, cursing, um, he popped up to ask his playing partners. Uh, Johnny Tomlinson, Peter Durant, uh, where where the ball had gone. Uh, and at this point, the ball went straight right into the trees. Uh, it was presumed it had either dropped straight down below the gum tree or finished dead in that uh, garden bed on the right. Uh, when uh, Steve Jones, the other playing partner, saw his custard yellow ball land 10 metres short of the green and ran up the right half of the green before taking the slope and defecting into the hole to their total amazement um, for an eagle. Uh, as Steve put it, more ass than uh, Jesse the bull elephant uh, as it had defected some 50 metres off the gum tree into the hole. Didn't take any speed off the ball either. And, uh, John Tomlinson and Steve dropped, I think, seven digits on that one hole. So uh, uh, they're claiming that he probably deserves tool of the week, potential tool of the year, not uh, not the hero that we maybe made him out to be. So uh, my fault, questioning, putting him up on a pedestal when probably uh, I was got that wrong. Um, Definitely should be tool of, the, tool of the Week nomination for using his custard yellow ball while adjacent to our driving range on the left hand side which is covered in about 3,000 custard yellow golf balls. Um, and Stewie was pretty proud of this shot and uh, I don't know if you ever remember back to 96, 1996 Tiger Woods made his debut and um, his first tee shot was regarded as the shot that echoed around the world, or well, this shot was nothing like that, nothing at all. Anyway, you keep playing, um, definitely be tool of the week, even though we don't have an official show. Again, I apologise, got it wrong, thought Stewie had elevated his game, and uh, I just didn't have it in the frame. Apologies everyone, we'll move on to the more, more serious stuff. We didn't review last week's game, or this week's game, sorry. Uh, our first match, hybrids versus party turtles. Uh, probably a bit of a tough one to pick. Hybrids finish uh, sitting fifth on the ladder, party turtles seventh. Um, party turtles just about out of it, unless they can, well, will be out of it, unless they can win this one. Um, I like the hybrids in this match. Um, just think, uh, even though they're down one player, with Jenny Barrick being out with a broken hand, I think I think the hybrids might get the job done. Off cuts have got the bye, which uh, probably comes in pretty handy for them. Sitting in eighth position, they get an opportunity to have a bit of a regroup this week. Um, better take my other hat off and put my Premier League hat on. 
Uh, next match, Cinderella Boys versus Grandads. Um, Cinderella Boys, I think, would be favourites here, but uh, Grandads have shown a bit of form recently, so um, I wouldn't count them out by any means. Uh, hopefully, carts are back on the course. Jack Crawford having to walk last week instead of being seen around on his surfboard or come golf buggy that you see him cruising around. Uh, the Fockers versus the Reluctant Heroes. Well, after um, Dewey's antics last week, um, this could uh, could be an interesting match. This one, yeah. This time last year, you just would have said Reluctant Heroes, uh, are just a lock, but uh, Fockers just might be finding their way, starting to learn how to win. Maybe when it really matters, so it'd be a really good test for them. Mixed bag versus. Uh, Chubbs Peterson, uh, I probably find this one a pretty tough one to pick too. Mixed bag, sitting with only one win. Chubbs probably should be favourites with two and a half wins, I think. So uh, I think Chad Jones, Ben Docking, probably finding a bit of form. Just might be a bit tough to beat, although Kane Anderson's played a bit of golf in the last week even though we've had some wet conditions so he's uh, should be in a bit of form um, Steve Pelling copped a fair bit of stick last week supposedly unfounded but uh, unlike Stuart Manser my sources there uh, were spot on the money with uh, his story and he's claiming that only two thirds of that story were correct I think um, might find him in a little a little bit of hot water with his teammates and uh, might be feeling a bit on the outer, not, not really a team player, so um, might go for a bit of an upset there and mixed bag might get that one done. So just a quick show this week, as I said, very apologetic about my error. Um, I said you all probably walked away from last week thinking, Stewie, what a gun player he is, but as uh, his playing partners put it, just, just another lucky golfer. So. From everyone here at Premier League Golf, thank you uh, for watching in. Good luck to everyone who plays this week. Hopefully the rain stays away. Thanks to Amy again and CUB. And uh, yeah, I've had, had to sample a few of their products during the week uh, just to get over. Um, you know, I, I just don't know what I was thinking. So thanks everyone. See you on the weekend.